While it seems these people are having a lot of fun in outer space, the lack of gravity is actually being produced here on Earth, or at least just a passenger airliner's height above it. And in fact, programs that replicate the space experience have been benefiting scientific research for years. These scientists are carefully preparing experiments for the trip I'm going to go on. And that's the main purpose of these flights that Nova Space organises for the European Space Agency. To measure the effects of zero gravity and enhance gravity on people and materials. Nova Space conducts its zero gravity flights from its base in Bordeaux in France. It uses a converted Airbus A300 airliner to fly parabolic arcs to simulate the absence of gravity. The pilot pulls up hard into a full throttle climb. Then, while still climbing, the engines are throttled back and the airliner's momentum takes it up and over the arc and into a dive. For the 20 seconds of the arc, the aircraft is in free fall and the effects of Earth's gravity are cancelled out. And the feeling of weightlessness is very strange. This sequence is continually repeated, so on an average two and a half hour flight, those on board get 31 of these 20 second sensations, at the end of which there is a sharp reminder of the effect of gravity. enjoyable it looks, the main task of the flights is to allow scientists to experiment without the inconvenient effects of gravity. By removing gravity out of the equation of whatever you are studying, you can study more fundamental phenomena. This allows you to better understand how these uh, systems function in absence of gravity, to better understand also how they would function on, on ground. And it's not just for the space industry. Some experiments study how to harvest the power of everyday phenomena. We are looking at very small bubbles inside water. When you study bubbles in normal gravity, you have gravity as an additional effect. So we try to remove gravity to understand which power comes from what. So we can study very nicely the physics of a spherical collapse. On this flight are members of the Mars 500 project. They simulated an entire manned mission to Mars and back with more than 500 days cooped up in a mocked-up spaceship. But this is the first time that any of the six will have experienced actual weightlessness. We do three experiments all in one. Some of them uh, ask us to perform some operations in the ROG, in normal gravity, and some of them even in uh, hyper-G. Ironically, the two astronauts of the Mars 500 team on my flight had the most miserable experience. Being experimented on and unable to take any medication, they spend most of the flight shackled down and throwing up, although they did eventually get a chance to have some fun. These flights are expensive to put on, especially for the relatively short time of zero-g, so Nova Space is looking for ways of finding additional funding. 
This year, we would like to launch the passenger flights. With these flights, we would like to use them first to help financing a new aircraft and second to help reducing the price of scientific flights. We don't know the exact price, but we think it would be around uh, 5,000 euros. But it's a very large guess and the detail is not known at the moment. The Zero G flights have been showing their worth to the scientific community for years. But now, with the move to carry fair paying members of the public, not only will the cost of science be kept down, but also other people will be able to participate in an experience that could fairly be described as out of this world.